for dinner. Not a problem. Yeah. <laughs> Coach, tell us a little bit about about the new league that's out there because, as we all know, uh, there are so many fly by nights. Um, I was a big proponent of the UFL. I thought when they stepped foot that that was going to be the end all be all. That was exactly what we needed to have because so many kids, whether it's high school or college, we know that we know they slip through the cracks. But even professionally, so tell us a little bit about the new league. First of all, we're different. Yeah, Just like in down. baseball, they yeah. have AAA. Oh, we try to develop our players to go to I the next know. level. We also have guys that have played in the league that we're even trying to get back. And what's so unique about us? And you know, the United States Football League and all those food. We are embracing the community. The name of the team is the St. Petersburg Tide. We picked the name of the city. We go to out to community with the young people. We do free camps in yeah, churches, okay. colleges, and schools. It's, it's a different brand. We're, we're showcasing, we're helping the young people. We're trying to help to turn the city around and build character with the young people. Even on our team, that's what we're all about. So it's like a big family that we are in the community. Well, signing autographs, not just only on Thanksgiving or Christmas, special time. We're talking about all year round, the young men coming in the community, embracing the community with the young people and the families. What are some of the prerequisites to, to being a part of the, of the league? Do you have to be X amount of years removed from college? Do you have to have all your eligibility over with? I thought you would never ask that question. I'll, uh, we, I'll, we, I'll feed you. Don't okay. worry about it. <laughs> we have a, a 21 to 33. And you know, and we always want kids to try to get their college education, and, and basically we, we look for that. But the, the most important thing, uh, we want young people with character, that's important. Uh, we also train them, like for instance in the NFL, now they are talking to the kids and, and, and we expect certain things, the way they even dress on the field. That's important because we want the best product on the field, looking good and, and, and playing. And we got some outstanding coaches, so it, it's a thing that we really interview the kids, not just only on ability. It's all about attitude, because we know football, 90% of the game, it's about attitude. It's a mental game. So these are some of the things that we sure. look for. Sure, and, and it sounds great. How many teams are in the league, and where are the teams located? Is it a regional thing to start out with? Is it a national base? What's going on? Yeah, well, we're, I think they did a great job. We have two teams in California, okay? We have a team in Mississippi, but we're going to expand, and we're going to do it smartly. We're going to expand for maybe two next year, and then continue to probably end up about 12. And we try to play logistically. That's important. We just don't want to be just throwing money out. We want to promote. We want to take it you know, step by step, and that's the smartest way to do it. A key word there was money. Are the, are the players paid? Do you play? What's going on? Is it playing for the love of the game? What's well, happening? No, they get paid because they're professional football players. Gotcha. And, and I, I just take my hat off to uh, 